Understanding, not worth a monkey, exploring English idioms. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning journey. Today, we're diving into an intriguing phrase, not worth a monkey. This idiom might sound a bit funny at first, but it carries a fascinating meaning and history. Let's uncover the layers behind this expression and see how it can enrich your English vocabulary. The phrase, not worth a monkey, is a British idiom that implies something is of very little or no value. Interestingly, the term, monkey, in this context doesn't refer to the animal, but rather to a sum of money or something considered worthless. It's a colorful way to express that something is not deserving of time, attention, or money. The origins of not worth a monkey are a bit murky, but it's believed to stem from historical British slang where different amounts of money had animal-related nicknames. For example, pony for 25 pounds and monkey for 500 pounds. The use of monkey in our phrase might have evolved from this slang, suggesting that if something isn't even worth a monkey, it's of negligible value. Using not worth a monkey in conversation or writing adds a dash of personality and can make your English sound more native. It's perfect for informal settings. For example, I wouldn't buy that car, it's not worth a monkey. He spent hours trying to fix that old TV, but it's not worth a monkey. Remember, while it's a fun phrase, it's best reserved for casual or colloquial contexts. To expand your idiom arsenal, here are a few similar expressions. Not worth a dime, mainly American, used to denote something of little value. Not worth the paper it's written on, indicates that a document or agreement is useless or lacks value. Understanding these variations can help you navigate different English-speaking contexts more fluently. And that wraps up our exploration of not worth a monkey. Idioms like this one add color and depth to our conversations, making English a rich and vibrant language to learn. We hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to incorporate fun idioms into your daily English. See you in the next video.